this old Bailey number four and a half hand plane that um, is in my collection and it's never really been restored. So there's a number of things that need to be fixed up on it, but the first thing I want to do is get rid of this rust that's on it. There's just a bit of surface rust on the bottom, some stuff on the sides that's a little bit deeper, nothing super flaky, but um, what I'm going to use is this Restore Rust Remover Gel. And it does a really good job of helping remove rust. Now you do it in conjunction with a, a little scouring pad, or if something's a little tougher, you might need to use a little bit of sandpaper, but it removes that surface rust really cleanly and easily. And that deeper stuff, you just help it along with a little bit of abrasion. If there's any wax on the plane or oil, that will prevent the rust remover working. So it's important to make sure that's all off. You can either degrease it or use some, wipe it down with some shellite. Uh, and any big flaky stuff, like I said, just hit it with a tiny bit of sandpaper and, and you'll find that this rust remover really gets the rest of it off very easily. So I've got the sole here, body of the plane. I've got um, the blade, definitely has some surface rust on it. And the frog also has a little bit on it. So I'll hit that with this now. Once I've removed the rust, I'm gonna be putting on a wax product which will protect it. And then we can store it away safely and I can get to restoring the rest of the timber later on. So I've given each of them a scrub and they've come up a lot cleaner than they were. Some of them are a little pitted, which will require a little more mechanical um, attacking. But I found that with the surface rust on a pretty intact surface, this stuff just wipes it right off, which is lovely. Um, they recommend using a scouring pad. I didn't have one that was abrasive enough, so I used some wet and dry sandpaper, which seemed to work beautifully. And then what they suggest after that is to clean these surfaces off just with water and then dry them really thoroughly, potentially using a heat gun to make sure that you've gotten moisture out of any of those, uh, any of those components. Once that has been cleaned and dried, then we can put the wax on. This is a wax protection also from Restore. It's a non-silicon based wax that's specifically designed for tools like this. So I'm just gonna buff that on, make sure there's not too much on there. And what that will do is actually protect that surface from, from rust in the future. Stuff's really easy to use. You can use it on chisels or hammers or anything else that's iron, iron and steel. Uh, it's nice and soft, so it goes onto a cloth really easily. And it doesn't leave a, a super greasy finish or anything once you rub it off. And even though you've rubbed it off, it's still gonna be protecting the surface. So I put it all back together. It's looking really good. Like I said, the timber still needs some work. There's a bit of paint in there that needs some work, but here it is. It's looking really shiny for a working plane. This is as far as I want it to go. I don't need it to be, you know, like a mirror, but if that is the way you like it, then go right ahead. So now I'm gonna um, throw this into a fabric sack to keep it nice and protected when I throw it into my tool bag. This is a sock for a plane. It's made by Sackups. It's just a heavy duty cotton that's also quite soft. And you put this in there, keep it nice and safe. Just like that. And they also make them for um, some saws as well. So you can check out those other products. But it's just a great way to protect your plane once you've cleaned it all up. Keeps it nice and protected, throw it into your toolbox, keep it looking shiny and new. For more information, click on the links below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.